guys, my name is Brianna and this is part of my must-have series I'm doing of the must-have baby products that I learned from my first go around with my son Landon who is nearly two years old and made me realize I needed to go through everything I needed to get ready for my baby girl Presley who will be joining us in early May. So. This video is going to be centered around the three to six month must have products. I did a zero to three month or a newborn must haves and these products today are for that three to six month range. Now some of them could be used a little bit before three months, some of them can be used after six months, but I feel like around that time is when I started using these products really, really frequently and they've turned into my must haves. Okay, so my first must have is a high chair that has a removable tray. So around the four month mark, we started putting Landon in the high chair when he started to get some neck control, more so to play with things or like pick up things to work on his motor skills. And at six months, I was introducing solids. So we needed to start putting him in the high chair to feed him. And I learned really, really quickly that whether he's playing with finger paints or any kind of food with crumbs or any sort of liquid foods, it is critical and we still are using it till this day, and he's almost two, to have that tray that can pop out, can take it to the sink, wash it with warm water and soap, and then pop back in when it's dry so that everything on the high chair eating area is clean. The number two must have product, and I would say I used this a bit before the three month mark, but I think it was really critical on that three to six month mark when baby needs a lot more stimulation and is reaching for things, but our kick and play piano gin. This was so wonderful. It was so cool to see how happy Landon was when we would lay him under this. He would kick his feet to make the piano keys play. He'd be reaching for the little dangly toys. It was just such an awesome toy to see him respond and be so happy. I think it, around the time we were registering for it, it was around $30 mark, or usually you can get it for around $30 if there's a sale or a coupon. My number three must-have product for this baby stage is the screw-on spoons for the squeezable solid pouches. I was traveling with Landon. I actually, him and I flew by ourselves to meet my husband out in California for his first plane ride. And these screw-on spoons made my life so much easier when we were in the airport and on the airplane or when we were on the go at Disneyland or anytime we were really on the go just to be able to screw the spoon onto the pouch and slowly squeeze out the food and not have to worry about an actual container of food and spoons and then stickiness and mess. Like these screw on spoons were such a lifesaver. So I would highly recommend investing in these or registering in them. They're not expensive at all and they make your life so much easier when you start to introduce solids. My number four, it's another simulating toy, but the Jumperoo. And I would say we probably started using this around the five month mark, maybe four to five month mark, and we had to put a box under his feet so that it was actually tall enough for him to spring off of. Until the time he started walking, we would use the Jumperoo as a way for him to strengthen his legs, and it was so stimulating. He could spin around in circles and play with the different either bells or buttons or rings or animals or whatever it kind of was at the little stations around the Jumperoo. And he would just be so gleefully happy bouncing up and down in the Jumperoo. And it seems so much safer to me than one of those swings that dangles from a doorway just because if that ever were to break and fall and hurt your baby, that just seems really scary to me. And the Jumperoo, the way that it was suspended was everything came towards the center so it wouldn't be like something falling on your baby's head if <laughs> for some reason, like that just is terrifying. <laughs> My number five must have for the three to six month stage when you're starting to do foods, solids, introducing all of that fun stuff is getting washable bibs that have pockets. The terry cloth bibs did not do it for me or even just the regular plastic bibs that don't have pockets. I felt there's literally so much that when I look in those pockets gets caught between the little puffs or stars or yogurt melts that would get dropped in there or just when the food actually spills. If they have that little pocket catch, it saves your baby's lap from getting all of that food that on an ordinary bib would just kind of roll right down thanks to gravity. So I would definitely recommend registering for 
they're like either a plastic or a wipeable material because terrier cloth ones you still have to wash in the washing machine which just is a waste of time versus plastic ones you can either take a wet washcloth and wipe off or wash them right in your sink and just set them out to dry and they dry really fast and it's not as much of a time ask on mamas who need things to be efficient. My number six product for the three to six month mark is either teething tablets or baby Aurigel. Around this time is generally when little ones will start to get those first teeth in. I know Landon got his really early and he did not like in general teethers or putting cold things in his mouth or really putting anything in his mouth besides the boob. So. We found though his cries would instantly sound relieved if we either put a little bit of Aurigel where we could see that the tooth was going to be sprouting or when his tooth had actually popped and was coming in, we would give him the Tylen's teething tablets and we saw instantly him just not crying or being as fussy or not that in pain cry. Like even if you know the tooth is still gonna hurt them, teething is really painful all like what I've read and what our pediatrician has told us about teething is that it's really painful for your little one. But we would see an instant sort of ease in his either cry or his fussiness when we gave him those teething tablets or put a little bit of aura gel on where he was going to be sprouting a new tooth. So definitely something to have on hand because you never know when your little one might start teething. My number seven has to do with all of these fun oral stages as well that seem to happen in this three to six month range, but it's having a toothbrush and toothpaste on hand for your little one. My dentist told me the earlier the better that you can start using the toothbrush and toothpaste, do it. So I started using one with Landon really early on. Again, he started teething really early too and sometimes just even rubbing the brush on their gums, they say, can really help them. And he loves brushing his teeth. He begs me every time I change him, actually, he wants to brush his teeth because it was next to the changing table and he asked for his toothbrush and toothpaste. So I would start early as soon as there's either signs of teething or as soon as you kind of get the go ahead from your pediatrician or dentist that, hey, you can start using the toothbrush and toothpaste Make sure you're using the newborn kind though, or the baby kind, it's different than either the toddler or the kid versions of toothpaste. And I've seen such a positive result in Landon loving to brush his teeth. My number eight must have for this stage is all different kinds of toys. I think we saw Landon really take to those old school stackable multicolored rings that kind of go from large to small. Also balls, rattles, blocks, really just have colorful toys on hand so that they can start developing more of those fine motor skills of grabbing things, picking things up, looking at those colors, exploring. Having sensory toys on hand are really important at this stage of baby's development. And that leads me to my number nine, which is a more specific sensory toy product. But Landon absolutely loved the Skip Hop sensory animals that generally come with the clips. You could clip them on their stroller, or on their car seat, or onto even if they're laying on one of those mats like the kick and play gym or any of the gym mats, you can hang them down. But they're a sensory animal where the ears will be a different texture and there will be rings or a different tail and some will be soft, some will be plastic, some will be crinkly, some will jingle. And those kind of toys, they just love to play with them. And still to this day, I've kind of put it away to the side in a bin of toys that will be more appropriate for Presley when she arrives. But if he sees it, he'll still point to the little Skip Hop sensory doggy that he had. And he loved that little dog so much, he would always be feeling it and playing with it. My number 10 product for the three to six month stage is the Good Vibrations Bath. We actually had two different types of baths we were using. One I sent to my grandma because she was going to be watching him and it just was not as comfortable as this bath that had a nice fabric cover that until he could really sit up better on his own helped support him. And you could use this definitely as a newborn, but what I liked about the three to six month stage is that you can unclip that sort of newborn fabric cover so then he could sit up in the bath easier. And he just really enjoyed any time we used this tub so much over the one that when he was in the one at my grandma's, he would cry and be a lot fussier. So I feel like this was definitely the most comfortable tub for him. And I like the fact that it had a newborn stage, but then could be 
used continually from the three month mark on when he kind of started to be able to have a little bit more neck control and get a little bit bigger too. So those are my must have products for that three to six month age range. I would love if in the comments you left what some of your must have products are for this phase so that this video can be helpful to any parent out there looking for advice, tips on what they can be buying for their little one. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of mommy and lifestyle videos and we'll be having pregnancy updates for the next 10 or so weeks here until Ms. Presley arrives. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.